Hey guys, it's Mac5. I'm here with Andrew and today we are going to be making moon sand. So the ingredients that we're going to need is just flour and baby oil. We need 8 cups of flour and 1 cup of baby oil and we mix it together and it'll make moon sand. Ready? Yep. So Andrew's going to pour baby oil into the liquid measuring cup because we need exactly one I think there's a hole right there. You just squeeze it out. Oh, there's already a hole? Yeah. Nice. We need exactly one cup of baby oil. Oh. Now we're putting eight cups of flour into the bowl. <laughs> Seven. Eight cups. Into the bowl, and we're making moon sands. This is like, is that what it was called when we were little? Moon sand? Was it called moon sand? There's kinetic sand Kine too. I think it's kinetic kin sand is actually baby oil and sand. Oh, but this is just flour. This is moon sand. There was like some like something when we were little that we used to play with. It was that gray stuff, you know? Is that good, Mom? I don't know. What does it feel like? Like really soft sand. Like extremely soft. Have this as like my floor. Feels really neat. In my room. That would be a cool like room idea. Yeah, well you'd have sand everywhere. I don't care. You know you could have like a or like you could have like a little like you know how some people have like a man cave? You could have a beach room. With sand on the floor? With sand on the floor and you could have a little canopy or something. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm getting that. Alright, so now we're going to put the moon sand on here. We only just dump it all in. Oh snap, that's good. We should put some of the moon sand like on here, like about that much, and then try and see if we can put food coloring in this okay. and change the colors. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. there you go. Is that good? It's kind of, I feel like if we were to do this again, we would use a little more baby oil because it's kind of not sticking together like I would want it to. Put it in here to make like something. Yeah. Oh, oh, look at that! What? The sand. Andrew. <gasps> Andrew! I just want to see you try and struggle to get it out again. He's so mean. Oh. That one was, that one was a little better. I feel like. Yeah. The base was, not the top part, but the base was. Okay, so now we're going to add blue food coloring to this little bit of moon sand. Let's try and see if it puts anything. How much should I put in? Just to keep dropping. That much? Yeah, mix it up, see what it does. Oh, you're gonna have blue hands though. You're not gonna be able to wash it off. I don't know. Should probably have had gloves. Oh, snap. There's so much on my fingers. So. We made moon sand. Oh, it's kind of cute though. Look how pretty. Speckled. Oh. Or, I mean, at least the dye's coming out pretty well. Got him.
Alright guys, well thank you for watching. That was our video of making moon sands. Now you can make it at home yourself. It was super easy and there was only two ingredients. And I don't recommend trying food coloring because it didn't do any good at all. Yeah. <laughs> and it just made Andrew's hands nice and blue. But he got it washed off. Yeah, we're kind of covered in flour, but it's a really neat project. And now Haley has some moon sand to play with. Honestly though, like if you're going to do a project like making sand or something, I would try to find one that makes it a little little bit thicker because it breaks very easily. Like if you're trying to use cups or anything to build a sand castle as you saw, it breaks very easily. So. Alright, all right. well that's all for tonight guys. Thank you for watching our video and if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and press the subscribe button.